What up, what up, what up? Your boy live. Live and direct. <clears throat> Got my hair out looking like Tarzan today. Uh, I ain't get my hair done in about six months, man. What's good, what's good, what's good? Looking like Tarzan out here. I'm back in nature. What's good with everybody? Yo, what's good, 777.1love? <laughs> I figured I'd go live again because the live I did last week, I deleted it. So, you know, it's still a lot to say. But my hair mad long, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. My hair long. The real Tarzan out here. What's up? The real Tarzan. <laughs> salute, salute. Salute Divine Cosmic Unity. Salute to everybody coming in. Y'all be coming in quick. <laughs> Much love. Now, I had another message today, though. Something I wanted to talk about. Today, we're going to talk about energy vampires. And um, what the, and what characters to watch out for. Because there's a lot of stuff that I be peeping. That I'm really not liking out here, man. You know, it's a lot of people who, they come into your life, or they may hit you up acting like they rock with you, and the whole time they just, let me tie my hair back. There's too much bugs out here. Hold on real quick, y'all. Let me tie my hair back. Ugh. Back out in nature see the the river out there and I just washed my hair so it's like all over the place right now I look mad different <clears throat> but uh it's heavy because I just washed it you know when I just wash our hair and it just be like that water is all in there but um I right, boom to get focused with what I was talking about was basically it's a lot of matter of fact let me get on my Clark Kent hold on we, we geeking up real quick. Let me geek up. Let me get real geeky out here. We Clark Kenton it. So basically what I was saying was, Jay from 118, what up, bro? There's a lot of people that you got to watch out for out here, right? A lot of a lot, a lot of people that's got that sheep, that sheep mind. And low-key, they be trying to challenge you. Like, if I told y'all how many people, like when I, when I post on my story, if I told y'all how many people reply to my stories... And was good, was good. And they pretty much be like, in a sense, it's like a trap. Like they reply, and it's a lot of people that'll be like trying to give me some information to what I'm saying. That's like low key opposing what I'm saying. Like you could tell they be hoping I be like, I'm a, like I'm gonna respond and debate them or something. <laughs> Right? So, shout out to Triple X, rest, rest in power. Um, it's a lot of people that will try to bait you low key. And I don't fall for that, right? It's like people be play, be trying to play chess, and they there's a lot of people that, um, that ain't even aware that they're trying to play chess, if you get what I'm saying. And they just trying to, like, bring you into their world, in a sense. It's like, it's weird. But I don't fall for that. That's I see that coming a, a million miles away. Like, that's nothing new. But you just gotta be careful with that too. Like certain people that just they they, they be on a on a certain frequency, like a low frequency, and they be may, they may be watching you, and they'll know you putting out some solid information to the world. They'll know that you really like you you putting out some real truth, and they'll constantly try to like hit you up to throw you off a little bit. Like yeah, but also uh, did you know that da, da 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 da? And I'm I'm the type of person I'm gonna play dumb if I do decide to engage. 70% of the time I'm gonna play dumb. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm gonna just let you feel I'm gonna let your ego feel like you you just you know like you got what you wanted sometimes sometimes if I decide to engage right so you gotta be careful with that don't just be engaging with people that just people be on a low frequency and they be bored and they be wanting to to throw your energy off of their ego be wanting to feel like I just told him something right I just told him something yeah like I just it's like, okay, cool. 
It's a lot of people like that. You know, you could be sitting here right now. You could be, you could be, you, you, you could go, you could go live just like I'm going. Yes. Also, they be manipulative, manipulating people. Facts. You could be going live and you could just be in nature like I am right now looking at the river. And you could say, for example, you could be like that, uh, that flower is beautiful. Like it's something about flowers where da da da, and you and you might show the flower. Somebody reply to the story. Well, did you know that actually blah 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 blah. Like I really got people having whole conversations in my DM right now with their self, cause I'm I don't be responding to a lot of people. You know I got whole pe like and then it's a lot of it's a lot of groupies out here. Like it's a lot of groupies, right? And they and they they kind of jump under that. They see spirituality as a wave, and they jump under that that umbrella of spirituality. When the whole time it's like they just looking to belong somewhere. They looking for something. Like I'll have people that'll hit me up that'll be like, "Hey man, I really you know something about you." Blah 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 blah. Like it's da 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 da. Me and you da 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 da. It's like you know we're real similar. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. Next thing you know. They start like picking like they looking for certain information, right? Like they'll say something like, like if I if I say I'm going somewhere, if they see I'm out of town, they'll say something like, maybe you shouldn't walk over there alone or, excuse me, or um, maybe you shouldn't do this. Or the, like they're trying to pick at to figure out like who you with. Are you with somebody? Are you by yourself? Are you like they're low key trying to do that in you got to watch out for them little tactics. You got to see, you got to pay attention to all those little tactics. Like they'll low key be trying to figure out like, yo, is he, are you with somebody? Like how are you maneuvering? How are you, they be picking for information low key, but they're trying to do it in a strategic way. And like I said, I play dumb. I play dumb a lot. Like I let people think that they telling me something I don't know, you know? And I, and I got a humble spirit. I don't care the debate that does nothing for me, right? I, I I put out information to, to to see to because that comes from my heart, right? And if it works for you, then it works for you. If it doesn't, it doesn't, right? It's a million people out here. Y'all don't gotta listen to me. Yes, Sesame underscore artist. But yeah, you know people they'll like one thing about me is I move I move real militant. Always been like that. That's just in my nature. That's who I am. You know, um, I never met my grandfather. But I, but he was he was he was a drill sergeant. He was special forces. Like it's just certain things that's just in my DNA. I'm a very militant person, and um, I'm not gonna ever put much things that I love on the internet online, right? Like I have no I have no reason to. Like the people that I really mess with in real life, my circle in real life, they don't even be wanting to be on the internet. They don't, you know, like the people that's really going ride for me are the people that like if a situation was to happen. You're not going to see their faces. You're not going to know who's coming. You're not going to know. I'm not putting stuff online. That's not how I maneuver. That's not how I move. Like you may see me post, you know, my dogs or some pets maybe every now and then. You may see me with, you know, there's someone every now and then may see me with a person. But I'm not going to put nothing out there. See, I'm not I'm not one of these people online who they say they militant. They say move accordingly and they don't and they put everything online. I really am militant in real life. I'm not putting my life out there in real life. Like, it's like you'll see when I'm at my house, you'll see like, okay, I just bought a house and I'll tell you the steps to buying a house because I want the same for the people that are serious, the people that really want to buy land. Like, I'll give you information. I'll show certain things. But you never, you y'all probably haven't even seen me actually post how my house actually look. Y'all never seen me like, y'all just, there's just certain things that I'm just not going to put out there. Right. There's certain things that I'm like certain people, certain loved ones in my life, like my niece, for example, uh, or, or people I'm related to that I really love. Y'all not going to see their face like, you know, what I'm saying I don't spell work is real. I'm not I'm not fake with this. I know I know I know how people are powerful. I know people can cast the evil eye. I know about all that, obviously. So I move accordingly. Right. But y'all gotta be careful, especially this this message is to men and women. This message is to everybody. Like if you got that one person, right, who come out of nowhere and and they hitting you up, like this, like say a girl, she come out of nowhere, she hitting you up, and she kinda like you she see you talking smart and you got certain information and she's trying to like 
act like she's seeking that information, whole time, like, you start to see, it just kind of get, it, it, it'd be weird. It's like they're trying to figure out your life. They're not really trying to seek that information. They're really looking for something else. And then you, you'll peep their lifestyle by the things they post, and you'll realize, damn, you're not even on that, you're not on that frequency at all. This ain't even who you are. You just trying to relate to me because of some a certain type of energy you're trying to vampire off it's something you're trying to get out of me and then when they see that that don't work right and that you're not falling for that bait trap what they start to do is what they start to do is they start to start to um hate on you you know they start to low-key throw shade then you start seeing the subliminals then all of a sudden it's like okay the mask start coming off because they don't got you I'm waving at everybody. Shout out to everybody that's coming in here. They don't got you where they want. They don't. They they where they wanted you. You know, it's like it's like a, it's like a gator or a crocodile. The closer you get to the water, the closer you get to the water, and then they grab you. They trying to grab you and pull you in that water with them into that low frequency they really in. And then they look at they. Then when they do start peeping your life, if you do let them in enough, they be like, damn, this person really is everything they say they is. That creates a lot of envy. That's why people get crossed left and right. That creates envy. Because people, they may hear you talk. They may like it. Be like, okay, I, I rock with that. They'll hit you up. They'll try and get in your space. Then when they get in your space and they see this person is really who they say they are, it makes them question their self. And they start to get envious. So y'all got to be very careful of that. Not everybody is to just be chilling around and hanging around. Y'all got to, you know, y'all got to be careful with that. This is why a lot of people also get dragged into cults and get used and abused because they be out here trying to get in people's face. Like, I'm going to tell y'all something real. Somebody hit me up, like, I'm going to say about a month ago, this girl, she was like, and the thing is, she she followed me, and then she started hitting me up, and she was showing love at first, right? Like, oh, I've been watching you for a minute. You know, I've been watching you for a while. You be talking that talk, da 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 I said, you know, you Nigerian. You know, I got that in me, too, from the blah, 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 blah. I'm like, all right, that's what's up, right? Then she starts saying, she starts talking about this other spiritual teacher. I'm not going to say no names. Damn, that's a beautiful bird. It's a yet like a small, just yellow, yellow bird. That's beautiful. But, um, so she start talking about the spiritual teacher, saying how the spiritual teacher been sending her attacks. <laughs> and they'll be like, sorry, I'm being nosy. It's, yeah, yes, they be like that. Yes. But, um, cause they really trying to figure out your life. It, it's weird. You know, they trying to, they trying to, they got, they be having ulterior motives. Right. And when you don't let them in enough. And you really be who you say, then that mask come off, and here come the hatred. But um, so she started telling me the spiritual teacher, well-known spiritual teacher, was sending her, be sending her these attacks, you know, astrally attacking her, and all this wild stuff. I'm like, damn, that's crazy, right? So um, I'm like, that's that's like that's crazy, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not an insensitive person. I'm like, all right, like, you know, you and you and this, you and you tapped in, you know what to do, like, protect yourself, and. All of a sudden, I'm blocked. Two days later, I'm unblocked. She was like, oh, yeah, uh, my, 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 my these people I've been talking to about the spiritual teacher, um, they've been taking over my account to help me. And he has, like, all these agents for him. Something crazy. So they blocked you, but I unblocked you. About two days after that, she like, oh, um, I'm sorry. You know, I really, I really like you, your page, but... You know, you're following people that are following this person and this person's still attacking me, so I have to block you. And that was the last time I, like, yo, I'm telling you, I'd be crazy online. I'd be like, what the hell? I never followed this chick. She followed me. She hit me up. If you, if anything in you thinks that I'm an agent, then your whole discernment, you need to, you need to just restart. It's a lot of people with mental health issues that's jumping into spirituality and they need to get their mental health right first. Because all I do, I don't even go live like that. Y'all know that. All I do is post information. I don't even, I, I, I'm, I tell people all the time, don't give me a dollar. Y'all, y'all, um, y'all put that money into yourself. I post information off of how pe for people to help themselves all the time. I don't like, so if you was to even think anything about me as an agent, then your discernment is all the way off. I'm sorry. Like I'm, you, you just, you just mad because you tried to get in that spiritual teacher face and however that went is however that went. Right. And what I, and if he is doing whatever he's doing to you, clearly it's working if, for, for you to be, oh, you know, I got I to gotta block you and you, you run around like a chicken with his head cut off. 
right? So y'all gotta be careful. Y'all gotta be mindful of these people. It's a lot of people who their mental health ain't right. Y'all gotta realize that. If your mental health ain't right, and you and say you 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 is a psychic medium, and say you have certain abilities, your shit gonna be all the way twisted. Your shit gonna be all the way twisted because your mental health is already messed up. So how it's gonna be easy to trick you. It's gonna be easy for all type of entities and low vibrational shit to mess with you because because your vibration is off, right? So it's just like right now too, right? Look at look at Nipsey Hussle for an example. I'm gonna use Nipsey Hussle as an example because they're trying to violate him on the internet right now by basically saying there's some gay recordings on him, some weird stuff, and the person that 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 said this. Was saying that Nipsey Hussle, and I'm gonna try to. We talking about Nipsey Hussle now, right? The person who did so much for his community, and you know, was teaching people about cryptocurrency, just just building, wanted to wanted to um unite his his opposition together, and wanted to see people come together, right? Economically. So, this person saying about Nipsey, they like, they like it's actually his gang, right? His gang that has the recording. And they want to release it. So I want y'all to think about that for a second. Nipsey Hussle, the person who, like I said, he was teaching the people. He was giving people jobs. He was doing all this. So three years after this man don't transitioned, you mean to tell me I want to release some secret tapes I got on him about his personal life? I wouldn't give a damn if Nip was whatever Nip was. If Nip was doing something behind closed doors, as long as it don't got nothing to do with children, with harming children, and it don't got nothing to do with... um. Um, any type of crime against humanity like human trafficking then I don't care then I don't care I don't care what he was doing sexually behind closed doors I care about the message he was pushing out and that's wrong with a lot of people nowadays it, it, like I said in the beginning of the video is they want to have something on you they want to bash you it's like in the streets there's two main things in the streets that dudes lie like when they intimidated by a person there's two main things they're going to say about you, they, the rumors they're going to spread. They're going to say you either a snitch or they're going to say you gay. Those are the two things, the two biggest lies in the streets that people will push about you. Now, obviously, obviously, if you were, if you were, if you were, if you were a snitch, if you uh, betrayed your people and you, I, obviously, I can't, I can't rock with you because that's say just a lot about your character. But as far as like sexuality, um... Oh, it, that's been that's since the beginning. Of, like, come on, bro. Like, people can flip it, turn it how they want. Say, oh, it's not an African thing. It's not this and that. But the more I study, like I study, I study, I read, I read, I read. I'm not just somebody who come on here and just talk. Like, it's just so much we don't know. There were certain oracles that would be what we would say is bisexual that would have certain energy to them. Um, and be channeling and it, and those would literally be oracles. They would be playing with different energies. And it's just so much. We don't know that it's like to, to it, like I said, as long as it don't got nothing to do with no type of human, human, um, crime against humanity or no, or nothing against kids. Then that's, that don't got nothing to do with me. Right. I care about the message that, that people be putting out. I don't care about what another man doing. See, it's like, when you focused and you really doing what you're doing as a grown man or as a grown woman and you handling your business and you taking care of your responsibilities internally and externally, it, it's nonsense. That all that's just noise, right? It's the people who it's like it's like even even with his gang, look at Nick for a second. With his if that's true that his gang got that recording and they want to release it. Why would y'all want to release that on Nick? First off, why would anyone have any type of recording on Nipsey Hussle doing anything? What the hell? And secondly, why would y'all want to release that to the public after, after, as a people, that just would make y'all look weak. Y'all raised him. He from y'all neighborhood. He put on for y'all. Why would y'all want to doubt that? What is, what is y'all, y'all purpose outside of envy and trying to dismantle and crush that man's legacy? This is the type of people I'm talking about that's out here. They, 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 they'll, they'll do, you don't know. It's like, it's been three, three years since, the, since he's been out of here. And look how they're trying to do them. That's what they do. You know, they'll try to, people will try to get dirt on you. They'll try to get close to you. And when they see you, everything that they not, there comes the, there comes the envy. This is why I like watching Vikings and The Last Kingdom, Game of Thrones, because it shows you all these characters that have been around for ages and what to watch out for. That envy is real. People be, people really be wanting the throne. 
It's like right now for Galactical War that everybody talking about was to really pop off. Like right now. Like right now with a whole bunch of just entities just start to show themselves like, yo, it's on. We coming for y'all. Right? Let's say superpowers amongst the people just started popping off. Right? All these X-Men shit started going. Just people started just, it, it just popped off. The people versus these wicked entities that, that, that been running the planet. You don't think after people get their powers, a whole bunch of envy ain't going to pop off. Once they start seeing someone else get more credit, oh, this person was 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 doing backflips, flying, and all this crazy stuff. This person was teleporting. This person. It's, this is about character development. All type of envy would start going off. People would start to would start to backstab each other on a whole nother level, a whole nother level, like. Y'all gotta peep what's going on, man. It's a lot of it's a lot of character flaws. And if someone's not working on their character, their character, their flaw, because we all have flaws. I have flaws. Everybody has flaws. That's why we're on earth. Right? So if you're not working on your flaws, if you're not trying to become or, or working to become a better individual internally for then and raise your vibration every day. I don't know what you're doing then. And I don't know why you would want to be around anybody. I wouldn't let any... I don't let people around me like that. Shout out to my boy um, from the fr from the Hoovers out in Cali too. I be talking to this 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 one guy. He he, he, he live in the projects in, in California. And he always keep his frequency high though. Like he always talking. It's motivation to see somebody who live in an area like that. But they're constantly like, you know what? Even if I'm just making $100 a day... That's what he said to me. Even if I'm making a hundred dollars a day, you know, as long as I'm doing something, and I respected that because it's like you still you realize that it's different. It's different. It's different versions of us that exist in the astrals, and what we do, whether small, small or big, every day attracts that timeline towards us. So with you still living in the projects, my friend online started to manipulate, and shit started like fear. that's how it go though. It's a lot of it's a lot of master manipulators. See, I grew up around them. A lot of people I grew up around, they doing life right now. They doing life or they dead, right? Um, I grew up around master manipulators. Like I said, killers, murderers, the whole nine yards, right? So I had to learn certain things. Like, it's like even when I, like, if y'all look at my stories, the other day I posted when I was younger, how I was, you know, just kind of reckless with the mouth. Not kind of. I was all the way reckless, right? Back then I was, I just didn't care about, you know, a lot of things. But I, I posted that with the intentions of, I got a lot of young people watching me, you know, and I want them to see, like, back then I didn't care. And I was, I was like that. Like, I was really like that. Um, um, and, I, and I'm not going to go into that because I don't want to feel like I'm boosting up some ego or something. But I was, every, I was, I was, all, I was all in that, right? And in that world, violence, all that. And I want, I wanted people to see, like, look at how far I came. Look at me now an author, a homeowner, you know, look at me now, right? If you were to look at that kid from when I was 16 back then and how I was acting back then, how I was maneuvering back then, a lot of people was counting me out, right? When I was born, people were saying, my, my whole pop, uh, father side of the family was saying, yo, he gonna be just like his father. He gonna be just like his father. My mom was right outside of the abortion clinic about to abort me, right? And just like that, she was like, you know what, I'm not... I'm not going to do it. Just a quick decision, just like that. You already know that was the spiritual team. I was meant to be here. And the most effed up is people will misunderstand me, how bad I am. Like, man, don't even care about how people feel about you at this point. Like, don't even, people, people, people be, people that always be judging, they, it's, it's something wrong with them. They just want to, they, people want to have something on the next person. This is what I got to understand. People want to have something on the next person. They want to feel like, they, like especially when they see a light about you. They see, they see something about you. They want to get next to you. And then when they realize they can't be that light or they feel like they can't get, they can't, like, it, it could just be your vibe. You could just be smiling, happy. And they can't get that. They can't, they don't know why, why, why they can't feel how you're feeling. That's enough to create envy. You got to understand the devil is a human. That's human. The devil is human nature, man. Look at what humans do, man. So, 
you know, it just it, it could just be your vibe, man. And then a lot of people, like I explained in a previous, um, I think it was on a previous live about a meditation I had where I seen on the lower astrals people just like when you're on um like if you watch the movie souls when people will incarnate here with um a purpose to help raise the vibration of earth and when they incarnate they don't remember their purpose because it's really it's really a test i seen people on the lower astrals who died in hell states in past lives they didn't pass their test they're in hell states being pretty much used by higher beings or more advanced beings um, to come back here with a purpose to throw off those beings that were coming back, that are coming back to um, to to raise the frequency, and they'll 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 incarnate amongst that person's family or close to that person. So a lot of these people, and they and they don't have no knowledge of it either, right? So a lot of these people, they'll be in your family or 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 whatever. It's like. It's all part of a bigger experiment. It's like one thing I've realized is we're lab mice right now. We are lab mice in a bigger experiment right now. Believe that. Believe that. A lot of people are 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 are, are, are food sources right now for something something we can't see. You said my mom and dad for sure. Like yeah, that's crazy. Salute, salute, cuz DL. Thanks for the badge, bro. Salute, salute. But um, yeah, it's, 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 cause it, it, and that's me right there. Like I was literally born into these type of people. Like <laughs> pretty much majority of my father's side. Like I was, I was born into he's gonna be like his dad. Like they was putting those curses on me before I even came. He's gonna be in prison his whole life. He's gonna be like before I even came in here. It was already right, right wrote right him off. He's out of here. That was that was big mistake. My spiritual team. My mom was going to get that abortion, you know. And um, and I'm gonna tell y'all something else, cause cause I'm gonna be real about this illusion. My mom, she was going through a lot of abuse while I was in while I was in her stomach to the point where, when I was born, she couldn't believe nothing was wrong with me, cause she thought I was gonna be born with something wrong with me, cause of, cause of the abuse. So, certain it, it's they've been trying to get me out of here. They've been trying to slide me out of here, you know. Because there's a certain message I got. There's a certain energy I got. So, it, that didn't work. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Believe that. And I'm going to deliver the messages that need to be messaged. To, uh, I'm going to deliver the messages that need to be delivered to those that need to hear. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter how people feel about me. It's a lot of people, like like I said, all the time, I always get it. People reply to my stories. Listen, I, I grew up, growing up in the streets, right? Growing up in certain areas, I knew to play dumb. Like you gotta play dumb. If you not, if you if if you know you know. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the things. If you know you know, you gotta play dumb in in, a, in certain situations, right? So I I know how to play dumb. That's one thing about me. I know how to play dumb. Sometimes you gotta let people feel like they they got that. You know they got an upper hand on you. Don't get drawn into their debates. You know don't get drawn into all that debating and nah. You know and then when you see the frequency of certain guys or certain females, that's like. They start talking down on everybody. I use an example, like say if you see a female on her story, like, man, all these dudes is da 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 da. -da. I'ma just, you know, just say something stupid. You already know what type of frequency they on. Don't even play with that energy. Not in 2022. Don't do it to yourself. Don't play with. Don't even leave that energy alone. Cause those those is like chicken heads. You know what I'm saying? Those leave that leave that alone. Do that low vibrational, throw all that out. That's no, throw it out. Don't even mess with people like that. They're gonna switch on you like this. Don't mess with people like that. You know? If the if the vibration ain't high, cut that tie. Straight up. If the vibration ain't high, cut that tie. One thing about me is I always had a slick mouth. That's what got me in a lot of trouble though. Growing up. <laughs> always had a slick mouth. Always could come up with something off this. Listen a bit like this. If the vibration ain't high, cut that tie. Seriously, don't 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 do it to yourself. You know, be careful, be mindful of those that's coming around and just acting like they rock with you. You know, and and then and you got to be mindful of that. You know, acting like yo, especially when it's the opposite sex, because they've been hurt a lot. A lot of people been hurt and they looking for something. And when they and when and when they see that you is what you is and you're not giving them the attention they want, here comes the envy. Here it comes, and you best believe, 
They and a whole a whole bunch of other people DM with that bullshit. I'm just keeping it a real with y'all. You know, y'all gotta be very careful out here about people y'all deal with. That's why every time y'all see me go live or when y'all see me out of town, y'all don't see me posting pics with people. Y'all won't know who I'm with. I don't play that. I protect my people to a whole nother degree. I protect my people to a whole nother degree. I don't play that. All right? Whoever I'm rolling with. Unless they be like, yo, I want to get on camera. And my people don't be wanting to get on camera. That's just the truth. Like, if y'all do see me with people, like, I'll go visit certain people, my homies. Y'all may see me take pictures with them every now and then. But, like I said, that my real, my real circle, my real circle of people that I talk to every day, that I build with, that I, you know, they, they're not, y'all, they're not, I'm not putting them out there. And that's, I think that's, that's part of the people problem too. Like, everything's out there. Like, when you look at these mafias, when you look at, we could talk about the Russian mob. We could talk about the Albanian mob. We could talk about, we could talk about the Irish mob. We could talk about the Amish mob. We could talk about the triads. Like, we could go on and on. The, 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 the Japanese, what they call like the Yakuza or something. These people maneuver in secrecy. They don't play that. They understand power is in secrecy, bro. I remember Grandmaster Teacher Bobby Hemmings said, yo, that's, that's what's wrong with the people. Every time they, 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 they learn something, blah, 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 blah. loose lips really sink ships, bro. Like, each one teach one, yeah, that's true. But at the same time, not everybody's even worthy of, of freaking knowledge. Knowledge can be the most dangerous thing in the wrong hands. Not everybody's, like, I, I'm, I'm careful about what I put out there, believe that. You know, not everybody's worthy of, of certain knowledge. I feel like it's like with it's like with jujitsu now, right? When you when you train jujitsu, I don't believe everybody should be able to even train jujitsu with certain martial arts. I believe I believe there should I, like there's 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 not enough Mr. Miyagi's around. People were just training stuff just to just to oh I want to beat this dude up. I just want to I just want to. They don't care about the martial art no more. They don't you know it's just oh, I want to be able to do this move. I want to be able to do that. Want to take pictures with their chest out. Come on, bro. All off all, for ego purposes only. E ego purposes only. That's all it be. That's why when I do this camp in about six years, when I wanna, when I open this camp, we diffusing the ego. I'm teaching the youngins how to diffuse the, all the rainbow children how to diffuse the ego. That's what we working on. We working on character development. You know, you you see. A, but but back to what I was saying about these mafias. Like you got a lot of Asian kids. You got a lot of a lot of Italian kids. A lot of kids that they may be quiet. They humble, right? It, it, they don't do all this. They, you know, they don't got their pants sagging all crazy. They're not looking crazy out here. They representing their family right because they was raised upright. You get what I'm saying? They wasn't raised by no birds. They was raised properly. Character, that, that character was, was ingrained in the morals were ingrained in them. Um, and things in, in true power be in secrecy, right? A lot of these dudes that's walking around, they, they tatted up everywhere, all over the goddamn face. Oh, they gang everywhere, throwing up gang signs everywhere. They wouldn't be loud. They wouldn't be on the track letting you know they murder and stuff. There's no power in that. They'd be at the bottom of the food chain. They don't own the funeral homes. You know, they don't, they don't, none of that. They just out here murdering each other. Don't own the block. Don't own a stop sign. It's like, come on, when is enough enough, man? Y'all not tired? When is enough enough? You know, and, I, and, and, I, and I'm specifically talking to that group of people that I know is watching. I'm not talking to my spiritualist, my occultist that ain't even worried about that. No, I'm not. Ta I'm, I'm talking to a specific group of people that I know that's watching right now that's still living like that, bro. It's, 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 it's corny. It's played out. Seriously. Grow up. Grow up, man. Grow up. Nobody want to be in nobody prison. Nobody cares if you didn't snitch and you went to jail anymore. Nobody cares, bro. Grow up. I want to see you. I want to see you pass off land. I want to see you put land in your in your kid's name, bro. And then and then like the one person I heard say, "Oh yeah, but you know, you still paying property tax to the government." Yes, you pay some property tax once or twice a year. Once or twice a year depending on where you are, opposed to paying um paying thousands every month. And then you never the way the world's changing, you never know what's going to happen. We might some shit might happen in the next 2 years where Something, some, some real rebellious cause in America happened, and the people rise, and we might knock the property tax off. So all the people that do own shit, they may not even have to pay that. You don't underestimate what might happen out out here. Then the people that was being lazy, making them excuses, is going to be sitting back like, oh shit, they lit. Yeah, and you still in that apartment? Still, still, still coming at your own, 
hating on your own type, uh, your own, people from your own culture, but then taking money that you working hard for and then giving it to another culture of people that don't care about you, paying them rent? Oh, yeah, you real official. Come on, man. I got to call out. Like, let's talk about it. I'm not here to play. I don't, I don't, this is why I always had enemies my whole life. Because you could put me anywhere amongst anybody. I don't care who it is. The Hulk. And I'm going to pop my shit if I see something wrong. I'm going to pop my shit and where's this going to go, how it's going to go. I don't care. You know? I'm going to pop my shit. Like, if I see something it, 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 uh, wrong, and that, that's why I don't engage in debates and I don't be around people. Because if I am around people and if I see something that's just totally wrong and I see like kids around and it's just totally wrong, it's going to be, it, it may be hard for me. It, I keep, I'm going to be like, yo, come on. I got to, I got to have to show out for the kids, man. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to let the, you know, like, and there's too many dudes out here that's in their forties, thirties, forties, fifties, man, damn, man. It'd it be crazy out here, man. It'd be crazy. You know, I, out there, I guess, because I really don't be around. You know, one of my one of my day ones just hit me. Yo, when you coming around, you know, I was just people been asking about you, where you been at. I be telling them you good, but bro, when we got a link, listen, I love you, bro, but I, uh, bro, like I, I'm good, man. Like as far as as far as the town, the hometown, like uh, it's nothing there for me. Like was was what did we already do? What, what is it that we didn't do yet? Because every time I come around, all I hear is gossip. Come on, man. The frequency is up now. I'm not that same person from even five years ago. Even three, even two years ago. I'm not that same person. Y'all got to understand that. And it's for the people in my hometown. Y'all got to understand that. Y'all yeah. dealing with somebody who is evolving. Right? Who is evolving constantly. Constantly working on self. Constantly meditating. Constantly um, doing sh shadow work. You know, and um, actually, I need to I need to up my shadow work. I ain't even gonna lie. I, I feel like I need to up my shadow work. If I had to if I had to give out any flaw right now, I would say I don't I don't believe I'm doing enough shadow work at all. I do it, but I don't believe I'm doing enough. But you see how quick I am to check to check myself because I understand like I'm documenting this shit. Like I'm I'm in this human body, but I'm not this person. You get what I'm saying? I'm just having an experience, so I'm documenting this shit. So for me to be biased towards myself or, or have that ego is just me being too trapped in an illusion and I really ain't learning shit and I'm wasting my time. And I didn't come to this planet to waste my time. So I'm always going to check my flaws. Hell yeah, I get egotistical. I got a hot ass temper. Anybody who know me is laughing right now because y'all already know I don't... Listen, I don't set off riots with my motherfucking temper. It's just the truth, Right? I don't set off riots. That's what I got charged for when I was 16, when I got jumped by the cops. Starting a riot, assault on a cop, criminal mischief, and um, I don't even remember what the other one was. But, hey, you know, that that's what I was on a run for five years for, you know? So it's like my temper, that's always been me being an Aries, you know? And then the genetics of, if you know me, you know what I'm talking about, of my, you know, my biological, it's like, it's a lot. Like, that's, I understand. That's what I have to work on. That's what I always have to work on is my temper because I get annoyed like this. Like, I can get annoyed like this. I'm true. And that's, what, that's another reason I don't like being around people like that. I get annoyed like this. And one thing about me is I, I really, really genuinely like the, like, one of my passions is fighting. So it's like, I have to, I had to, I have to constantly work on getting over that root chakra shit that I still be so attached to because it's not, it's really, it's really played out. So even if I get mad at somebody or I, if I swing on somebody or I'm like, yo, see me in the back, let's, let's get it in. It's like, even if I win that, right. Or if I knock somebody out or I do something, it's like, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to be like, yo, that was really some low frequency shit though. Like, am I really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. Sometimes we got to put in some work, but it's like, it's getting to the point where it's like, yo, that shit is lame as hell, man. That shit is mad lame. Like, it is. If you really think about it, it's really lame. Like, all these, to even, like, argue with somebody nowadays is just, like, it's so low vibrational, bro. It just be corny to me. It's like, like, if we gonna go to war, then we need to, we need to unite and go to war and get something out of it. Like I said, knock out property tax, go to war for that. Or, you know, something that everybody's going to benefit, but just fighting each other and just over, over, 
over nothing, you know? But that's always been my flaw. Is I always wanted to be I always was that person that gotta set some shit off. Everywhere we go, we in some party, oh that's them. Oh I right, bet. And I don't smoke, I don't drink, never did none of that shit. All I I'm not a smoker, I'm not a drinker, I'm just a thinker. So I'm always in the back, right? I'm always quiet. So people gonna underestimate me because I'm quiet unless you know me. Right? I like to play that Clark Kent role. And I would love to just set shit off. Simple. Like, and that was always my flaw. You know, police knocking at my mom's door all the time. Is he here? I'm jumping out the, the back window. Aunt Live, if you on here, you're gonna remember this story. It's wintertime. I'm jumping out the back window. Damn near don't got nothing on. Running in a in a snowstorm, running down hills and shit. Like, just so much. So much. You know, getting kicked out of school. You know, going to alternative school, getting in the fights there, getting in the drama there, you know, being on the news for this shit, like just all type of stuff. It's like, that's always been something I have to work on. Like, I'm not here to just be like, oh, I'm a spiritual assassin. This is how I'm Yeah, I, I'm not saying I'm not that, but man, there's a lot of discipline that come with this shit. We can't, we can't just be out here bugging a, a, a maneuvering with our ego. We got to calm the fuck. We got to calm down. We got to humble ourselves and we got to start to listen, you know? And this is why the woman, the divine feminine, y'all really got to stand up and, 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 and take y'all role as the divine feminine is the, is the, is the, is the true gatekeepers of this planet, right? I won't even say the gatekeepers, the true just, you know, just, Got the ones, got the chosen ones. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Like, I would say the I would say the masculine would be more so the gatekeepers, but y'all like the, you know, y'all the queen on y'all on the throne. Like, you know, in the Western world, they always make us think that woman is like like we gotta be, like they like they like they decide kick the men. Nah, man, that ain't it. Nah, even in the in biblical sense where say, you know, they made Eve out of a man rib. I don't, I believe that shit was the other way around. Come on, man. Everybody always talking about a God, but look at women. They don't look at the, unit, the, the the world they literally came out of. You literally came out of a woman. Why don't you honor that? And I'm coming at myself right now because throughout my life, I disrespected a lot of women, bro. I'm not even going to lie. You know, I always, I, I, I have. I, that's what, as men, we, uh, especially when we're dealing with a girl, we get in our bag because a female going, a woman going to challenge us. A woman to challenge that ego. You know, and as men, sometimes we just can't handle that shit. If you're not keeping it real right now, then you need to keep it real. As men, sometimes we just can't handle that shit. We just can't. We get mad. Like, you know, it's like, because we still program. We like, yo, I'm a, you know, I'm a man. Like, you the woman. Like, you my girl. You you under my arm. Like, you bugging. Like, but that's not how it's supposed to be. I don't believe it's how it's supposed to be. You know, I don't believe that. Because it's like a woman, a woman teaches a nation. A woman teaches the nation, if you think about it. So... She she birth out the man, you know. It's like she 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 puts that. She it's the, it starts with her. It starts with her. So so why aren't we honoring that? We gotta honor that more, you know. And I don't mean on no fake shit like yo my queen, uh, grand rising my queen. I don't mean on no fake shit like that. I mean like we really gotta respect them. Somebody calling my phone. Um, huh. I'm laughing because of who was calling, and it's funny that I would say that. That was actually, that was actually just, I just peeped, that was my mom. I don't be saving numbers, I'm weird with that shit. Like, I, I'm, that's what I'm saying, I'm a weird person, in a sense, because I'd rather memorize a number than save it. I don't know why I'm like that, I don't know why I do that. I don't save numbers like that, I, I'd rather memorize it and be like, okay, I know that number, boom, boom, you know, then just put the name there. But it's funny that I'm talking that and my mom will call. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all yeah, yeah, see what's going on? It's connection. That was my mother. You know what I'm saying? She was just calling. I'm going to call her back in a second. I'm, I'm probably be on here, but be on here for like two more minutes. You know? Um, but yeah, that was my mother. And it's like, what I'm talking about with the divine. And I was literally about to say, we got to respect them on some like what, what Tupac was trying to tell us. With dear mama, you know? Even though even though you was a crack fiend, mama, you always was a black queen, mama. Like, like for real. For real, we gotta we gotta just honor them. We just we just gotta honor them. That's all, and just listen to what they saying, cause it, we our ego ain't always the answer. Us getting all rowdy and you know, matter of fact, if Grace Grace, if you in here, I remember when we was in we was in high school and there was this dude named um, this dude Ridge, and something was said. You told you had told me about something that was said. Um, that I didn't like. I felt like he twisted something. 
and I remember, and I remember I hit you up. And, I mean, when you told me, I, I responded to you, and I'm like, okay, the, when I see him the next day, we just gonna get it in. That's all I knew. Like, okay, we just going. That's how we gonna settle it. That's how I knew how to communicate was through violence. Like, we gonna settle it. And I remember you came at me so hard, Grace. You was like, no, no. Like, what's wrong with you? No, like, no, no. Like, that's not the like. Use your brain. That's not how you need to handle that. Like, stop. I always remembered that. I always remember you said that you you don't remember you probably yeah you remember it if you if you went here you probably remember it. He was related to that Shaquana girl, that was his cousin, and um. And 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 I always remember that I'm like yo that's what we need though we need women like that who can tell us like yo stop, but we gotta be disciplined enough to listen and to be aware when that message come through like all right. That's not it. That stops a lot of wars. That stops a lot of things that just ain't worth it. You know? So we, we got to humble ourselves. You know, there's a lot of dudes online right now showing guns. Oh, I'm strapped up. I live, my new house is right down the street from the gun range, bro. Like, they, there's some real shooters in that gun range. 50-50 shotgun, eye closed, hitting bear can. Like, there's some real shooters in there. And they quiet about it. You know? Like, you don't have to always try to prove your... your, your your D is bigger than the next man's. You know, you always got to do that. It's like, y'all don't, y'all wouldn't know what I got. Because I'm not going to show y'all. Y'all wasn't going, y'all not going to know what, what I'm not going to show y'all. And that's how we got to start moving though. Because if y'all don't think for one second that the true oppressors are sitting back watching everything that's going on, everything everybody's talking about and plotting against that constantly. Come on, man. Sometimes we got to shut up. Sometimes we got to shut up. Sometimes we got to learn to just listen and just shut up. You know, but with that being said, uh, I'm about to be up out of here. Let me call my mom back in a second because, you know, that's moms. That's moms right there. But I hope all y'all enjoy y'all day. I ain't going to log off just yet. Something telling me stay on for like for like one more minute. I feel like I, I probably been missing. I've like been missing mad people that don't join. And like I said, every time I log off, it always tell me how many people was in here and I'd be like, damn, you know, I got to get my hair done. It's been about six months, shape it up. You know, it's, it's summer coming up. So it's that time. It's that time to, you know, look a little, get out that rough stage, you know, winter time, that rough stage, that rough stage, you know, I'm not, I'm not rough right now, but that rough stage really be the whole winter. Now that we come at, I'm, I'm blooming with the flowers. We got to bloom with the flowers, you know? Soon as soon as I see them, the, the nature start to look beautiful. That's when I start getting fly. I switch it up. That's one thing about me is I could. You never know how I'm gonna look. Like people always tell me, you look like a different person. I do. When my hair's out, I look like a different person from when my hair back. When my glasses is off, I look like a different person from when they on. When I get fly, when I decide to get fly, I look like a whole different type of person. Like when my hair twisted, when my hair braided back, hold like I could get you a man that could switch it up. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Hmm. <laughs>